Hey everybody, it's Aiden from Team 7121E Maverick Robotics, and I wanted to create a little tutorial video on how to download uh, VEX EDR components and to import them into Fusion 360 so that you can use them to CAD robots and robot designs. Um, in the description of this video, I have included a link to a Mediafire download page uh, titled VEX EDR Fusion 360 Library. This is a custom library that is initially derived from the Fusion 360 VEX library that you can just readily find online. Uh, but I have added a couple of files that are kind of helpful or extremely helpful. And I got rid of a lot of fluff. So I got rid of a lot of components that aren't competition legal. Uh, I got rid of all the 393 V4 items and I replaced them with, uh, as you see here, V5 electronics. Um, and I added this holy C channels folder and these are very unique and I'll get to them at the end of the video uh, but that's for a later time so when you get to this page you'll just download this file you'll click download it will prompt you to how to save it uh, it is a zip file so if you have WinRAR perfect uh, if not I'm pretty sure you could just save it to file explorer and you can unzip from there uh, but ultimately you'll come up with this um, You'll have five main folders and a readme text. Uh, I recommend you just take a look at the readme text um, Just a little bit of fluff that I want to add but These five folders are where all of your CAD files are going to be um, Now in these folders there are subfolders the exception is holy C channels It doesn't have any subfolders just these two files, but every other folder has subfolders uh, so if hardware, for example, has a subfolder for screws, standoff, and washers, and when you expand one of these folders, you have all of the standoff sizes and all of the uh, standoff CAD files. Uh, some subfolders will have subfolders within subfolders. So you take a look at Gears, for example. Gears will have um, a subfolder for gear inserts, high-strength gears, metal gears, etc. And then when you expand those, you'll get... Um, your cat files so what we're going to do is we're going to go to fusion 360 i'm not going to get into how to download fusion 360 but um there's there's plenty of tutorials that you can find online how to do that uh, and as to why to use fusion 360 over something like autodesk inventor fusion 360 is a, a lot less system demanding for one and it also has cloud safe function so if you have multiple people on your team, then you can invite them and they can not just edit, but also view and uh, just take a look at the files that you're making. So you can share your designs among your teammates way simpler than you can with Inventor or SolidWorks as far as I know. So I already kind of went ahead here, but I'll just repeat what I did. So when you're here, when you're on the screen, you should only have demo projects and my recent data. Um, what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna create a new project and you're gonna wanna name it something. So like I have it here, uh, I recommend that you just put your team number and your competition year. So like in this case, it'd be 7120E 2019, 2020. But um, I'm just gonna name it Vex Parts Library. Test. and we're gonna wait for that to load and we're gonna open it so it's completely blank it's a fresh start uh, and to streamline and to make things a little bit quicker what we're gonna do is we are going to split this tab in half split this tab in half and we are going to go on and um, just create two halves. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Let me just make sure I'm still recording. Epic, I am. All right, so from here, you're gonna to wanna to create new folders. Uh, we are going to replicate exactly how all the folders are here. So for example, we're going to create a new folder and we're gonna name it hardware. We're gonna create a new folder and name it holy C channels. And we're just going to rinse and repeat for motion, motors, and electronics and structure. I spelled that wrong. Wait, 
structure. As you can see, it is 2.12 a.m. and I'm kind of out of it. But um, So yeah, so we're going to create these folders and then we are going to go into each of one of these folders. We're going to expand them. We're going to expand them here and we're going to create new subfolders for screws, for standoffs, and for washers. The key point here is you need to be patient. This isn't very time consuming, but you need to be patient with it. You can't just like get intimidated by all the number of folders and then just chicken out and say, all right, I don't want to do this. You got to just, you know, chug on through. So I'm going to chug on through with you, but I'm going to create a, a time lapse of it. So I'm going to do it for every single one of these files uh, and I'll be back to you in a minute. All right, so I've gone through uh, and I've created all the folders and subfolders. I, I, while I'm doing this, I find out that really only Motion is the only one that has subfolders in the subfolder. So this is really the only one that's going to be slightly a pain. Um, but the the part that requires the most patience is only yet to come. Now that we've created all these folders, they have nothing in them. You know, saved and uploaded files will appear here. So now we got to populate these folders somehow. So let's start with Holy Sea Channels. So when you want to put in CAD files into your parts library, you want to go up to here and click Upload. Um, now since we have two screens here, it's a lot of you to, to drag and drop and to select files. So we're just going to select the entire file of Holy Sea Channels. Don't, I'm just going to do this as an example, don't just take hardware and put it in here because it's going to indiscriminately throw everything of hardware into one folder. Like it's not going to be automatically organized for you. So we're going to cancel that. Take everything that's in Holy C channels and we're going to put it into the Holy C channels folder. We're going to drag and drop and we are going to upload. I recommend that when you're uploading, you wait for each chunk of upload to complete or else you're going to be running a very slow computer and things are going to get really frustrating because things are just not going to want to move. But as you see here, we have our two files. Uh, we can double click on these files to open the files exactly. Uh, or we're going to just do for demonstration purposes, purposes, not purposes, purposes. Uh, we're just going to create an untitled uh, project and we're going to drag and drop our file into here. Uh, I'm going to maximize this real quick. So we have our C channel in here. We have uh, a full 3D model of it. We can pan and move around and we can see that, yep, there's a C channel here. And you have these little eye mating points. In my next tutorial, when I go over how to use Fusion 360 for CAD construction, I'll tell you why these things are a lifesaver. Uh, but that's a video for a different time. So we're going to go back to how we had things set up before and we are going to just load in a few more things so let's go let's just say go to hardware so hardware hardware we have standoffs so we're just going to open the standoff folders click upload i'm going to go back everything that says standoff here this entire folder we're just going to drag and drop here and upload now we have a lot more files here so we're going to wait for all of these to say complete, which they are about to, and they all say complete, I believe. And here we go. Here are all our standoffs, including a rubber link, because you know, why not? And we can just, again, plop that into our untitled thing.
and it exists. Uh, you'll notice that most of the files in this parcelary, uh, library, I really can't speak today, library are .f3d. Uh, ideally, this is the file you would want it to be in, but if we go to notable examples here, if we go to wheels, the three and a quarter inch traction wheel is a step file. And in motors and electronics, all of the V5 electronics are step files. The reason for this is these parts didn't initially come with this parts library, so I had to go in and add them myself. Um, but this doesn't change anything. When you try to open it, you can't open it the same way. Like, you can't just click on this and have it automatically open to Fusion like you can the other files. But if you go to, say, Motors Electronics and V5 Electronics, and we upload, we go back here, drag and drop, despite it being a step file, it will load in exactly the same as a .f3d file. So we're going to wait for this to chug around. Again, these when it comes to things like the V5 brains and stuff, these are a lot more complex uh, geometries in here with a lot more um, components and a lot more structure. So we're just going to close this. We already have the V5 radio loaded, so we're just going to plop that in here. And you're going to see that even though it was a step file, we can now use it the same way as any other file uh, and it's all here <clears throat> so basically what you're gonna want to do and I'm not gonna do it here because I don't want to uh, really spend my time doing it but you're just gonna go into each and every folder and repeat what we have just done here say if you want to move on and add your wheels I say I, you should do this in order you should go from hardware screw snet off washers and then go on the holy sea channels then go on the motion um, but just keep doing this over and over. Need to add a high strength gears, go to high strength gears, uh, upload, drag and drop, high strength gears, and then add it. Again, this is very time consuming. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be quick. In fact, I would probably say set aside maybe an hour to do this in full. Uh, but once you do it, it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding to use uh, Fusion 360 and to CAD. I find that it has helped me a lot um, when it comes to thinking about designs early on, uh, especially when you don't really have the materials to work on a particular design. Maybe if you're on a tight budget uh, and you don't want to, you know, you don't you don't have the the, the means to go through tens and hundreds of C channels on prototypes because uh, you know once you cut a C channel that's permanent um, this is really good because you know anything here you can just you know do virtually you know you're, you're not wasting any real life resources on this so in that sense it is extremely useful um, so you're just gonna want to keep doing that for all of these folders and then you'll have a full parts library and then in the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can use these parts to create structures and then from structures and your imagination, you can create your own VEX robotics robots. Um, another thing I want to note is that now they have this parts library here, there's a few other folders you might want to create. Um, you would probably want to create a 3D robot design folder. This is where you'll throw in all of your uh, robotic designs, every single thing that you make, uh, you might want to throw in here. Um, and hell, if you want to get, oh, my bad, if you want to get really experimental, you can just put custom parts and you can experiment with Fusion's um, sketching features. And I'm not going to get into that either, that's a whole different video, a whole different topic. But this is your library this is your fusion project make it your own make your own things and just be creative but that's really it for this video that's all you need to know on how to insert files into fusion 360 um, if you go to the readme text there's ways to contact me if you need any more help with this but with that said um aiden once again signing off from t7121e